We've been studying enzymes from a mouth bacterium. It's not a pathogen in this particular location of the body. But this bacterium can travel through the bloodstream to other sites of the body. And when it starts populating these other sites and it starts growing there, that can lead to a different pathologies. Um, and some of them are pretty, pretty big health concerns. And the one that's the most notable is colorectal cancer. The bacteria is really prevalent in tumors of colorectal cancer patients. The presence of the bacteria can contribute to tumor growth. It can contribute to metastasis. Um, it can contribute to chemo resistance. So in order for organisms to survive, whether it's hue or, or a bacteria, they need essential nutrients. And one of these essential nutrients is iron. Most of the iron in the body is um, tied up in a molecule called heme. Usually it's found within a protein cage. So what this bacteria has done is they have machinery to break open this protein, take the heme, and bring it inside the cell. And that's what we discovered is this bacteria has a very unique protein that will bind to the heme once it gets into the cell. It binds it very tightly. So if you have this new type of protein that is kind of different, right? we've never seen really anything like this before, if we can get a drug in there that kind of prevents heme, like heme from actually binding to it, then we have like a new drug target. It is very valuable having high resolution x-ray crystallography data. I think in our case, and there's probably other cases like there, we just need the experimental data that is provided by the Canadian Light Source.